It's Hen Harrier Day 2020 and what better thing to do than talk about the Hen Harrier itself. My name's Alex Collins and this is the Hen Harrier. Arguably the most intensively persecuted bird of prey in Britain, the Hen Harrier got its name by predating free-range fowl. The males are pale grey, the females brown and both have a white rump. Additionally, female hen harriers have a clear banding pattern on the tail, giving them the alternative name of ring tails. Whilst the females incubate their eggs, the smaller males go and find food. This mainly consists of small mammals like voles and small birds like meadow pipits. The males don't want to expose the position of their nest to potential predators, so they pass the food to the females in mid-air. This is an extremely impressive display of some interesting animal behaviour. Hen harriers can be found on the upland heather moorlands in Wales, Northern England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man, from late March through to August and September. However, as winter returns, they move down to the lowlands. Despite mostly eating smaller mammals and birds, hen harriers sometimes catch grouse too. This often creates huge problems for hen harriers, as many people who manage moorlands for grouse shooting don't want them around. Despite legal protection, hen harriers are still shot, trapped and poisoned, mostly to keep them away from grouse on the moorlands. Scientific evidence shows that this is the main thing preventing their populations from recovering. These birds were once common across the UK, but when driven grouse shooting became popular in the 1850s, their numbers began to decline. By 1900, Hen harriers had been persecuted to near extinction. Hen harriers did show a natural recovery after the world wars, but recent threats like illegal killing and disturbances have brought the declines back. The British hen harrier population fell by 18% between 2004 and 2010. By 2016 it had dropped another 13% at which point there were thought to only be around 575 pairs in the UK. The research has been done, and scientists now believe that here in the UK, we have the capacity to support around 2,650 pairs of hen harriers. This puts the current population at about 20% of that number, which just goes to show how much more can be done. Hen harriers are not to blame for their decline, it's programmed within them to hunt for certain species, and so it's more than unfair to expect them to stay away from areas that might contain food. No one has the right to take an animal's life in aid of sport. The plight of the hen harrier has a greater meaning, as it not only presents us with yet another challenge in wildlife conservation, but it also represents the many obstacles that all conservationists have faced over the last century. Successful protection and recovery of British hen harriers would be an incredible motivator towards further conservation victories, not just in the uplands, but in any landscape. It would also be a fantastic symbol of what we can achieve by working hard and working together towards a shared goal. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I encourage you all to do what you can in the fight to save the British hen harrier. Thanks for watching.